So we are in the social psychology unit. Social psychology, as a reminder, is looking at why we act the way we act based on the influences of the people around us. So how does society determine the way we act? What influence do our friends and family and TV, media, and just every um, different level of society play a role in how we act, how we behave, and how we think? Okay, so uh, we're looking today at attribution theory and the fundamental attribution error. So what is attribution theory? Attribution, how we explain other people's behavior, what we attribute a person's behavior to. In other words, why is a person acting a certain way or thinking a certain way? Attribution theory is the theory that we tend to explain the behavior of others as an aspect of either an internal disposition or an external situation. So in other words, people act a certain way because of either their disposition or who they are, just like traits that they have, or because of the situation they are in. If you think about your own life in certain situations, you act differently, right? So you could be the sweetest person ever, but you, you know, say, uh, get a really bad grade or, you know, lost your job or something. That day, that week, you might just become a huge angry grump. So um, the way that you act could be determined by the situation. Or it could be, you know, who you are. So dispositional attribution is saying that a person acts a certain way because that's who they are. The traits that they have lead to them acting this way or thinking this way. All right, so most people make this really common error in attribution. It's so common, we call it the fundamental attribution error. So the fundamental attribution error is our tendency to say that a person is acting or thinking a certain way because that's just who they are. So it's, it's always taking the dispositional attribution rather than looking at the situation as well. Here's an example. So suppose you're at the store asking a clerk a question, and the clerk is all grumpy with you and speaks abruptly to you. There are at least two possible reasons why this happened. Something about the clerk's personality makes him act that way with people, or there's something about the situation that's getting him to act this way. If you're like most people, you would initially commit the fundamental attribution error, which would be, this is just how he is. He's just a mean person. So that's the fundamental attribution error. Um, you're ignoring the fact that he might not be a mean person. He might just be acting really mean at the, in that moment because his boss told him at the end of the day, he's fired. And so he just lost his job and now he's finishing out the last couple hours. He, of course, is really angry and abrupt with everyone else. Or maybe he got some really bad news. Maybe he didn't sleep last night because of some other issue. Or maybe he uh, got in an accident on the way to work and he's dealing with that mentally, worrying about all the insurance headaches and all the things he has to go through now. And so, of course, he's going to be a little bit abrupt with you when you're uh, checking out at the store. And that's much more likely, right? Something probably is happening in this person's life that's making them act this way. Yet, the fundamental attribution error makes us believe oh, you know, this person is just this way. Finally, the self-serving bias. It's kind of the opposite of the fundamental attribution error, actually. It's where when we try to take a look at something that we did, an action we took or something that we said, uh, we personally like to look at the situation and blame it on the situation. So, you know, you do really horrible on a test or something. You don't look at yourself and say, oh, this is just me not doing my homework and not keeping up with studying, and that's why I did so poorly. But, but instead, you look at like, uh, oh, I didn't sleep yesterday because, um, you know, I had to study for a different test. Or, oh, that teacher is just horrible explaining things, and I'm failing the class because they do a bad job. So 
self-serving biases, um, really looking at your own personal actions in a, in a favorable way and blaming things on the situation.